modeling involving some of random variables, simple CDF. This question emerges from a project in microeconomic modeling. I have $n$ agents receiving noisy I, I, D signals $s$. In my model, a situation of interest occurs when the average signal across $n$ agents, say $bar $s$ equals 1, $n$ sum underscore I equals 1, caret $n$ passes a certain threshold $t$. I would like to be able to express the probability that this happens, i.e. $p bar $s$ greater than $t$ in an algebraically simple way. Of course, $p bar $s$ GEQT equals 1 P bar $s$ LEQT $ so the probability I am interested in is a simple function of the CDF of $ bar $s$ $. My problem is I am unable to think of a distribution for $s$ $ that would make the CDF of $ bar $s$ $ easy to play with and obtain. Analytical. Results from. For example, letting $s$ sim n 0, 1 leaves me with a $p bar $s$ leqt $ depending on the very unhandy error function I know it's easy to obtain computation results based on $earth cdot $ but I am aiming at analytical results here. Letting $s$ $ be a Bernoulli or a uniform leaves me with the CDF of a binomial or an Irwin Hall, which aren't much nicer to play with. Any suggestions as to what I could use for the distribution of $s$? Bonus requirements. In another part of my model, I am also interested in dollar p s g e q t dollar itself, so it would help a ton if both dollar s dollar and dollar bar s dollar had simple CDFs. For reasons I cannot yet lay down myself, I feel like I will be happier further down the line if dollar s dollar has a continuous and somewhat symmetric distribution. But I am happy to hear about discrete and asymmetric solutions as well. So we have dollar s underscore n fixum caret i i d dollar dollar bar s equals frac one n sum s underscore n dollar exponential suppose dollar s underscore n dollar follows the exponential distribution dollar dollar f s beta equals frac one beta e caret frac s beta quad quad zero l e q s zero dollars dollar take the simple bivariate case. Say dollar z equals frac s underscore one plus s underscore two two dollar and dollar w equals s underscore one dollar so dollar s underscore two equals two z w dollar and dollar s underscore one equals w dollar. The determinant of the Jacobian dollar frac partial s underscore one partial z frac partial y partial w frac partial x partial w frac partial y partial z equals minus two dollars. The absolute value is $2, thus, given the join marginal of $s underscore 1, S underscore 2 dollars dollar dollar F, S underscore 1, S underscore 2, equals frac 1, beta squared E caret, frac, S underscore 1 plus S underscore 2, beta, dollar dollar we then find the joint marginal of $W, Z dollar, and integrate out $W dollar to find the density function for dollar, frac, S underscore 1 plus S underscore 2, 2, dollar 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 begin a line h w z equals an f w 2 z w c d o t 2 equals an frac 2 beta squared e caret frac w plus 2 z w beta equals an frac 2 beta squared e caret frac 2 z beta end align dollar dollar integrate with respect to dollar w dollar from dollar z dollar to dollar zero dollars gets you the density dollar dollar f z equals frac 2 beta squared z e caret frac 2 z beta dollar dollar then you do a lot of garbage integration by parts let the buyer beware if i have made an error to get the cumulative distribution function evaluated from dollar z dollar to dollar zero dollars dollar dollar boxed f z equals frac 2 z plus beta 2 beta E caret frac 2 z beta plus frac 1 2 dollar dollar substitute dollar q equals frac 2 z 2 beta dollar and you can make this look more tolerable dollar dollar boxed f z equals left q frac 1 2 right e caret 2 q plus frac 1 2 dollar dollar you may now um generalize the case for dollar n dollar agents law. It may be more viable to compare this to the CDF of a single exponential distribution, then maybe try the case for $n equals $3 and see if you can see a pattern. Cauchy, pwn thing I looked at for fun online, take a simplified Cauchy distribution, $$f, x equals, frac, 1, pi, 1 plus x squared, $$ by the convolution formula and then a lot of work, the density of $z equals x plus y dollar is $$, frac 2, pi, 4 plus z squared, $$, 
dollar you can also verify that if you want the density of dollar z equals frac x plus y two dollar it is dollar dollar f z equals frac one pi one plus z squared dollar dollar it's the Cauchy again. Now the Cauchy has that pesky property where um it has no moments. But I'm pretty sure for this Cauchy distribution, the density is symmetric around zero. And technically you did not specify that your signals would have mean and variance, just that they were IID. Smiley face, the CDF of this ends up being dollar dollar f z equals frac arctan z pi plus frac one two dollar dollar. So if the average for three variables or four variables also gives the density of the Cauchy, you may feel so bold as to use this. Final comments up. Uh, if you are willing discretize the noisy signal, you mentioned Bernoulli, you can try using the Poisson distribution or something. If you are looking into another continuous option, you could try beta. If I have more time I may edit this answer with some investigation into one or the other.